those strange creatures that look pretty horrible. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Unreal Tournament 2004, in one of those bonus packs, they add one, no, I think even two Necros back. But that's all. <laughs> but not the whole team, right? Yeah. They yeah. do return in Unreal Tournament 3, though. Ah, yeah. That's, that's quite cool. So, uh, what, one, one feature I actually did like of, of uh, 2003 and 2004 is that. Uh, uh, I mean that you actually get to assemble your own, own team. That's quite a, a cool feature. Uh, but I, I still tended to uh, to assemble a team of uh, similar uh, guys. You know. Yeah. Uh, I get the. Uh, I think the. Team, yeah, I remember. I um, my, my logo was that uh, that rocket, and I think they called my team um, Strange Love. You know the movie, no like Strange Love. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome movie, um, and it got. I think there's, there's the regular humans, and then there's the uh, uh, what it, um, like uh, really uh, fucked up and cybernetically enhanced humans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sort of a combo of those. Ones. All right. Okay, you gotta help me out here. Um, I can't afford the Hall of Darkness yet, which allows me to build Black Knights. Yeah. However. Um, yes, mm. I think we're gonna build the, uh, I, I don't have enough uh, gold for it, but I nearly have enough, but I think we're gonna get the two more souls, and I'll be able to build the whole darkness, darkness uh, next turn, and I'll still be, that'll be day seven for me, so I'll still be able to recruit them at the end of the week, so that's, I, I, yeah, I should probably get the two more souls now instead of upgrading something, uh, would you agree? Possibly. It's probably a good idea to build it so yeah. they would accumulate later on. That's true, that's true. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna do that. There we go. Done deal. Earlier I never right. did that, but yeah. <laughs> now yeah. I understand that it's quite impo important, actually. Yeah, yeah, it, it can, uh, especially, I mean, Lake it doesn't make much of a difference, but uh, I guess, in, uh, I mean, it does give you some, uh, in early in the game, just give you, just give you a few more units um, right off the bat if you build the, the dwellings early on because yeah they'll accumulate more units. Yeah. yeah. Also, there's a new hero to the east, and it's really it's easy one. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll say. Uh, my bet is yes. One. Uh, what is it? A pixie. Yeah, it's a pixie. On him. Uh, <laughs> all right. Both Darkness Black Knight. They're probably one of the game's strongest uh, sixth level um, units. Yeah, uh, indeed. That's quite nice. I like the Dread Knights. They're very uh, animated awesomely, and also their double damage ability is very cool. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, you gotta love that. That's a uh, really nice ability. Although I gotta admit, uh, for most units I, I like the up upgraded version better. I mean, the, the, uh, graphically, I think they look cooler uh, generally. But in case the uh, the Black Knights less uh, Red Knights, I actually think the Black Knights look cooler. They got such a, they get such an um, ugly helmet uh, when when they get upgraded. Yeah, <laughs> that's, maybe that's just me. Yeah, some people call the upgraded helmets the uh, bucket heads. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's quite fitting. All right. Also, interesting thing to note is that the Dread Knights actually come from Heroes. No, that was Might and Magic Six, mm -hmm. and in there they were called Cuisinarts. Cuisinarts. Yeah, uh, that's the name of some kind of. Uh, Cutting and slashing tools. <laughs> huh. Well, the moiner. Yeah. All right. I should probably buy a spell book now. <laughs> mm, yeah, could be. Could come in handy. Yeah, and now I get two thousand gold a day. That means I can take some troops for one hundred and fifty gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not going to be able to buy all my units right off the bat either, because uh, of lack of gold. But um, well, you you, you got uh, two obelisks, by the way. Uh, do you think we'll be able to assemble the adventure map and uh, actually the Grail? Mm, possibly, although I see a whole lot of obelisks here. In my area, there are two, I believe. Yeah. Two, two, right? Yeah. Or do you see three? And in your area, I don't see any. Well, yeah. that's good. You got, you got the majority of those. Uh, yeah, but they're yeah. guarded by, <laughs> by elves and bone dragons. <laughs> and bone dragons. Yeah, one of them is guarded by elves, the other by bone dragons. That's not oh, very good. Oh yeah, I see. <laughs> uh, do you actually have to fight the bone dragons to get to the obelisk? Yep. Oh. Huh. It's got um. Dude, what's that uh, artifact down there? It gives you power it or something. Uh, gives me knowledge, I believe. Like uh, plus five knowledge or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Also, um, just just to the um, in the upper part of my area, uh, just on the other side of the forest to the left, there's uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Dead Knight Sword or something. I can't yeah, it's the Black Shard that. of the Dead Knight. Yes, that's right. And what's that like? Uh, plus three attack, right? Maybe plus four, something oh. like that. And the Library of Enlightenment, which was very awesome. Yeah. Alright, so, let's see what I can get. I'm gonna get... Myself. Oh, I can barely afford it. Oh! Yes. Hey, look! Uh, do you see yeah. that uh, artifact near the throng of Orc Chieftains? I do believe that's the Pendant of Life, and that's oh. what I need to complete the quest. Huh. Okay, yeah. Um, sure, I'll, uh, I'll gather up a few more, um, bits of, um, uh, what, when I've got a bit more gold, and got a few more units, I'll go down there and beat them up, and, uh, I can, uh, send the hero over there to hand it over to you. you yeah. Know. Yeah. Also, Let's see, I, I'm looking for the Stoic Watchman and the Bird of Perception. Oh. And what's, uh, the Bird of Perception, that's like, uh, plus 15 to Eagle Eye, right? So that's both. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and what's, uh, do you remember what the Stoic Watchman does? Uh, basically the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright, that's, uh, that's good. It's, 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 uh, it's quite, quite nice, uh, that uh, they're looking for such a uh, crap artifact. I mean, yeah. it's a really good artifact. It'd be kind of sad to pass along. So. The pen and the flag, though, yeah. is quite useful, at least for me, because there are lots of necromancers in this area, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll see what they offer in the Sears place. So, um, if, if, if we don't manage to beat the, uh, the AIs, um, ever, yeah. um, that would be, uh, that would be kind of, kind of embarrassing. I mean, um, if we're gonna, if we're gonna upload this, uh, well, this, um, this game, that would be kind of embarrassing to just, uh, you know, sort of have it all end midways us losing to a bunch of AI. Well, but uh, think about it. We're like battling six AIs, I do believe. And if they're yeah. allied, that means that we don't really stand a chance in the hard difficulty. <laughs> that's true, that's true, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Alright, I have four gnolls, which are quite useless. <laughs> I probably oh, should have split them. On. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. And I finally have spells. That's something good. My power is only one though, so they're quite useless. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
I'll probably shoot a few magic arrows. <laughs> How much time is uh, 20. Magic arrows <laughs> 20. Yeah, but that's enough to kill two Centaur captains, so that's okay. <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, how much, uh, how much space does, uh, uh, I mean, how much does, uh, an hour of, uh, uh, recording, uh, take up, uh, space at the Um, I believe about one gigabyte, something oh, like I that. Think, yeah, um, yeah, you could, uh, I hope you have uh, uh, space left in your hard drive. Yeah, you do have quite enough. Oh, that's good, that's good. <laughs> and the compression is actually quite good on this. I am using FFD Show, and compared to, let's say, what Fraps gives me, it's a whole lot better. In Fraps, it's like five minutes worth of information is one gigabyte. Oh, gee, that's. Yeah, Whoa. that's too much. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'll say. <laughs> I uh, I've got some pretty old hard uh, hard drives on my computer. Um, the oldest one is just 80 gigs, that's nothing. And then I got this one with uh, 320 gigs. So I've got I I'm constantly in, in need of more space. Um, yeah. Kind of irritating, but um, yeah, I just um, just today I uh, I uh, selected the uh, the um, to, to view the properties of my um, of my folder with um, x x x rated material on my uh, hard drive, and and I took up about thirty gigs, so. Yeah, if I do the heat in there, I might make more space. Yeah. Things like that, but, uh... Oh, yeah, enough about that. Let's see, more units for me. Jeez. Okay. Oh, they're expensive. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I've still ha I have still have a whole bunch of unborn skeletons, walking dead, ghosts, and vampires. Um, I bought all the leaf disc black knights available. I'm gonna wait till next turn, get the vampires and a few other units, and then I'll probably head out. I'll beat up some uh, some units around. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Oh, huh. That's interesting. In the statistics, you can see that. I have one hero, and two more AIs have only one hero as well. Although by default they always get... Oh, now three AIs have one hero. So that's yeah. that probably means that someone is not allied. Also, it says in the rumors that the ultimate artifact may be found in the Driven Snow. <laughs> 